Hi folks, how you doing? Uh, my name is Frank Corbin from Remix TV. Uh, I'm here with my guest, Edward O'Connor. Edward is a floral artist. Yep, yep, yep. Edward, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Frank. I'm always happy to meet you. Um, I'm here, got a couple of pieces. This always exciting. Thank you for bringing me out to your show. And yeah, let's do it, man. So listen, it's, it's, I've never heard the word floral artist before. So <laughs> how do you come up with that concept, that term? Where do you, where do you get all that stuff from? Well, being, being in the art business for a while, you know, you could. I kind of had to figure out some way to categorize myself, like what I want to do. I didn't just want to just make art, just to just make art all the time. Like, you have to like put yourself in some kind of niche. And I love floral design. I love flowers. I love just really beautiful things, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just, I was, that's always been my thing as a little kid. So I just kind of added that towards my art, and then I kind of put my own little twist on it. Right. Like I like to add models or add other people in there as well, and put it all together. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Exactly. <laughs> so how, how you get involved in, in this business? Of course, of course, you didn't born an artist, mm -hmm. so you have some way you develop your skill. How, how you get involved? You went to school for it? What is it? How do you get involved? <laughs> well, it started when I was young. I always drew when I was young. Like, I drew all my life. That's mm -hmm. always been my thing. I've always been an artist. I always like to draw. My art teacher, Melanie, shout out to Mel, what's going on? <laughs> She's been my, like, my mentor from when I was young, young. Like, she loved me. Like, I was, like, one of her favorite students. I, I remember I would skip my other period classes. This was like back in elementary, like way back. I would skip my other classes just so I could stay in her class and just right. do art. Like that's how much I love this. So I've always had that when I was younger. I kind of like, it kind of just grew on me. And then I'm not gonna front ever since I made it to uh, high school. I moved out of Toronto and then moved up to Brampton. I wasn't doing it as much because the government actually cut her program. Really? Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's a long story. The government cut her program. I didn't see Mel in the longest time. so. It kind of like put like a stain on my my art career like so after that i just moved up to brampton and then you know you do other things mm -hmm. venture off in other things personal training other work and all that stuff but i've always had the love for art that that hasn't changed you see what i'm saying i've mm -hmm. always been drawing and then as of recent you know i connected with mel again she missed me like i i met <laughs> I, I met her again it's like oh this lady was like tearing up it's like one of those moments like yeah. i love that lady but anyway so i just got back into it and then i started painting again and I really noticed that like the transitioning from the actual drawing into the painting, <laughs> right. it's a fairly easy transition. It was fairly easy for me because you know, once you're an artist, you can like diverse in other things. Mm -hmm. And it just took off from there. And then, you know, people love my stuff, have been selling and the rest is history. So you paint the art and you uh, usually resell them back? Yep, yep, yep. I do a lot of commission work. I do a lot of originals. Um, people are always calling me to do this and that. I take people's ideas, I put them in, craft whatever they want, and then I also have prints and the prints resell as well. So okay, very good, yeah. very good. Just so if someone wants, someone want to copy some of your arts or your prints, mm -hmm. how do you get access to that? Well, if you guys want to see my stuff, you want to see what I'm all about, just go to my website. It's www.edwardoconnor.com, and it has all the prints, it has all the originals, um, and you could contact me at contact me at edwardoconnor.com. <laughs> I keep it real simple. <laughs> absolutely, so, yeah, absolutely. you can contact me there. We can work out prices. We can talk about anything you want and just mm -hmm. go from there. So you can do a creative piece. If I want you to do a creative piece by myself, you can do mm -hmm. it from scratch and, yeah. and you put it together. And just put it together. Right, so, amazing. They, they just send me like, they would send me like, I do a lot of portraits, like family portraits and stuff. They'll send mm -hmm. me a picture of their kids or, or of themselves. And then, you know, I draw it out, I paint it out. Mm -hmm. um, I show it to them, let them see what, what it is before I actually physically start it. And mm -hmm. then from there, you know, just put it out. Figure. Must be a difficult process. Honestly, maybe coming from a, a someone who's not so much into the arts, mm -hmm. to them they would say like like you like I think what you do is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> like what you do with the houses and you're selling, you're flipping all this stuff. Like yeah. I think that's difficult, but right. it's your business. Right. So I'm Absolutely. assuming you've been doing it for so long, so it's easy for you. Right. Same thing on my side. Like what? It, like I love what I do, so it's like mm -hmm. it's easy for me, and it's just once you actually love what you do, it just makes it that much more comfortable it's not like it's work it's just it's just your hobby and then your mm -hmm. hobby is bringing you income as well so it just works let me ask you this because yeah. i look at it and it's like art drawing painting no not for me i can't do it two <laughs> seconds i'll probably make a mess of the board anyways yeah, right yeah <laughs> so for you when you decide to sit and do a piece mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, is it an energy thing you got to be in the mood or you can just go off the bat and just paint less just like that? <laughs> you know a lot of artists say different about this um with me Yes, when you're in that energy, when you're in that mood, you're having a great day, you may have just watched a movie or you went out with friends or whatever and you just mm -hmm. got a lot of inspiration just right. from like, just from being out and you seeing things. Mm -hmm. It's always easier when I'm inspired to do something, hands down. Right. But on top of that, I really 
take this like seriously. I really push myself because even those days when I'm not about it, like I just want to sit and relax, I still push myself to do it because mm -hmm. then your body, it's like working out, then your body just gets more conditioned to doing it. You feel me? Right. So it's like even in the days when I'm not expired, I still want to sit down, I still want to draw something. I force my creativity to get out there. And sometimes even those moments when you weren't creative, but you force yourself to do it, you could actually pull out something you had no idea. Right. And it's just, it's just an amazing work. So yeah, I do it both ways, mm -hmm. both ways. Very good, very good. So uh, folks, we're here with Edward O'Connor. Um, he's a floor artist. And we're talking about his creative design, his paintings, and later on you can see some of his, some of his work. And uh, feel free to contact at edwardoconnor.com mm -hmm. uh, for some of his creative work. Uh, so what else you got to say to the folks that's out there that's watching this, uh, that might be interested in, mm -hmm. in your piece? What are you doing special for them or with them to, to create wonderful um, paintings? Well, um, what am I doing? I do, I do a lot of artwork. I do... Um, I have to actually have a restaurant I'm going to go to. I'm going to drop off some pieces there because they like my work. Um, I'm on social media a lot. Like, you could catch me on Facebook. You could catch me on Edward O'Connor. Um, on Facebook, you could catch me on Instagram at Edward underscore O'Connor. I'm, I'm all out there in the social media. I like to get my work out there. And I just really like to do things that are a little bit different. Like, I have this thing called Motive Mondays. I like just put out like an inspirational quote just to so get people going on Mondays because for some reason Mondays is like <laughs> rough for some people. So I like to put out some kind of inspirational quote mm -hmm. just to get them going on Mondays. On Thursdays, I do these things called Health Tip thir uh, Thursdays. Health Tip Thursdays. Because like, like I said, I used to personal train back in the day. Um, you know, I'm into that whole fitness thing. So I just right. try to show people a different side of me other than my art. I'm really not a salesperson. Like I can't just sit with you and just hey, you should buy this for this much. And then I, I just push, I don't like that stuff. I'm not really into pushing sales like that, but right. I like to just, you just talk to me, you know, we vibe, you figure out things. And if you like one of my pieces, take one of my pieces. If not, then move on. It's, it's all Excellent. good. All right, so we're coming back and share some of Edward um, creative work and mm -hmm. um, take your pick. You could have one of them soon. <laughs> <laughs> all right, folks, I'm back here with Edward O'Connor. Um, sure enough, his wonderful art piece. So um, what's, what's going on here, bro? Um, oh, thank you. Well, this piece right here, this is called um, Love is in the Air. This is, uh, it actually started off with this first piece, and then I actually sold this piece, and then the person loved it so much they wanted the dude version to it, so I don't know if you guys could actually tell. We might have to get a shot after, but it's just flowers, and then you have the lady right here, and then it just flows, and then turned into right here, then the dude was right here. So this actually came second. And these are prints. These are just, just a small taste of what I do, just something, you know? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if they, if, if, if they want this, they can pick it up either by the pair or they can pick individual, individual pieces. Yeah. Okay. Contact me on my site if you guys are interested, and we go from there. Excellent. All right. Um, so we'll, how long it takes to put together something like this? <laughs> well, this, these, these are watercolors. My more later pieces are more acrylic, so these are watercolors. These didn't take me, these took about, say, two weeks, I believe. It was a while back in the year, about two weeks. And um, basically the story behind it, 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 when you look at it at first, you can't really tell what's going on. It just looks like rose petals and, and butterflies. But it's like, the reason for me doing this, you know when you find that little special somebody in life and you know, it feels like you've seen her, you've seen her somewhere, but you're just walking down and you feel like that's all you see. You just see her, she just, she just pops up out of nowhere. It's kind of like when you're in the field or you're just in the forest, just sitting and relaxing, and then you just look up and then all of a sudden you just see an image of that person that you've been thinking about for the longest time. So that's just the concept of the piece. And it's like I said, it started out with her. A lady enjoyed it so much, and she's like, you have to meet the, the dude version, so then I made the second one. And that's the history behind it. <laughs> Excellent. All right, we move on to one of the other pieces soon. All right, um, Edward. So what's going on with this piece here? Okay, this, this piece right here is called Test of a Man. It's basically um, just showing all the tri trials and tribulations that being a man has to, has to be with being a man. You know, you grow up, you go through life, you learn things, you overcome things. Just showing the strong stability of what it is to actually be a man. Um, I had I had a lot of requests because a lot of people are saying, oh, I want someone big and strong and, you know, a real African strong piece. So I like to do what my fans like, and that's why I produce this guy. So real simple. Now, how, long take, how long did it take you to put together this piece? Uh, this piece, this is acrylic. This is acrylic. This took me about those other two. This took me about maybe three weeks, maybe three weeks, I believe. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's a lot of time that goes into putting together some, something oh, as wonderful as Well, this. of course, I try to put my time, my love in it. I'm not just trying to rush it, you know what I mean? Do something that you guys like, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, this seems very romantic. What's going on with this piece here? <laughs> well, this is another one of my commission pieces. 
Uh, it's a very good friend of mine. It's actually my high school buddy. Um, and uh, that's his girlfriend. He's like, they really love my stuff. They're like, yo, Eddie, you got to do something for me and my girls for one year anniversary. I'm like, sure, wh why not? And they, they, sent, they sent me their picture. It was a very beautiful picture they sent me. And I just recreated it. Mm -hmm. And so any, it, same thing for you guys. If you want something to done, uh, do anniversaries, do Mother's Day gifts, do birthday gifts, you know? It's a great, it's a great piece to show that special someone how much you love them, you know? Yeah. Excellent. I, again, folks, um, very good quality pieces. Um, you can do a portrait of you, yourself, your family members, or even the old family portraits combined. You can reach him at edwardoconnor.com. You can catch him on Facebook. Where are you at uh, socially? Uh, Facebook, edwardoconnor.com. Uh, Edward O'Connor at facebook.com. And uh, Instagram, edward underscore O'Connor. Excellent. I'm Frank Corbin from Remake TV. To your success. See you then.